play this game for 10 hours and i'm gonna do this to showcase to all of you how ridiculous this game ends up being i have played this game previously for three hours and i went back to look at the footage and i couldn't tell you what the hell was happening as someone who has barely played Yu Gi Oh, the game has always kind of scared me it's not your typical card game in fact it's the most different out of all of them that i have played the biggest difference being there's not really a mana resource system you can kind of just play cards if your cards allow you to and not to mention how long some of the card text actually is from an outsider's perspective Yu-Gi-Oh seems like the most ridiculous card game that exists and I want to see how ridiculous Yu-Gi-Oh is so I decided to play Yu-Gi-Oh for 10 hours and here is what I found out chat is there a video you guys would recommend on how to play Yu-Gi-Oh because I have played Yu-Gi-Oh before the first couple hours were basically me relearning the game and I thought I would remember a lot of it but honestly i didn't remember really anything guy has 1800 attack but no defense that's fine opponent is about to end her turn what made the top five cards of your deck and you can add an excavated spell trap to your hand also okay i don't know what excavate means what is happening in the hopes you won't be as lost as i was playing Yu Gi Oh. here are a couple important things to know Yu Gi Oh uses different card types like monsters spells and traps and they all go in a specific zone on the board you can normal summon a monster if its level is four or lower but for higher level monsters you can tribute summon by sending other monsters to the graveyard or you can use special methods that we'll see later in this video the objective of the game is to reduce your opponent's life points to zero and send them to the shadow realm but i can't emphasize this enough this game is extremely complicated and there's a ton more stuff that i didn't mention am i dumb because i play hearthstone or is this game too complicated I am still hella confused. This game is complicated. Don't worry about it. For the majority of the first hour, I spent a lot of my time in the solo mode because I wanted to learn the game at a good enough level where I felt comfortable going against real players. And the solo mode seemed easy enough. I was winning basically everything that I did. So I felt very confident going into my first casual match. All right, let's find a casual match. Let's see how this goes. He's got what the hell is that thing chat do i want to go first or second uh i'm gonna go second i'm going first first always okay all right this is my moment to shine if normal special summon you can send one oh my god the single player campaigns are pog you should play those no need i'm about the game i think that was a good play nice okay chat yeah. He yeah. is gonna explode by turn four. Yep. Pray for him. Yep. Yep. That's your. That's the boy. That's the kid. All right. Then we do that. And then we do that. For the record, I have no idea what I am doing, but that looked really good. Uh, sure. Yep. That looks good. Yep. Okay. Cool. And then we're gonna go to the end phase. I'm literally going against Yugi Chat. They really put me against the best game one. What happens now? What is that? Both players can normal summon ancient gear monsters for one less. I don't know how I won, but the game's over. Now, some of you might be a little bit confused on what just happened, and don't worry, it doesn't get any easier. You're gonna be just as confused as I was as I was playing it. I, it worked out, so we'll do it again. Okay. Oh God, he's got an anime girl. Oh my God, look at the board. Yes. I don't know what's happening, but I'm doing stuff. Oh yeah, okay. Face up, easy. Oh my. You inspired me to play Mechrog yesterday, made it to plat for the first time ever. Thanks, went 31 to 10 lol. Dude, no problem. Did I do anything good there? I'm assuming my play was excellent. Oh my God. I think I'm about to get cooked. Where's my cards? Where's his cards going? Oh God, what is he doing? Oh shit. I can't even read fast enough. What do you do? When your opponent activates a card to affect you control, you can trigger one monster, okay. Oh my god, what is going on? Oh, what's this? I'm dead. Sorry about that. You can turn this card in your hand, and if you do, special summon them. Oh! You thought! What just happened? What just happened? How do I. Get me out. Yes. This game's fucking over. This game's fucking over. Okay, hold on. I need to pay attention. So this is where you get your first real glimpse of how ridiculous Yu-Gi-Oh can be. I played all of those cards on my first turn. Let me show you what a typical turn one game of Hearthstone looks like. And close enough. And in case you're curious, this is what Rune Terra looks like.
Now, if you're very curious to see how pro Yu-Gi-Oh is played, Master Duel has a very nice feature which allows you to spectate games. Let me show you what a pro level Yu-Gi-Oh game looks like. To someone who does not play Yu-Gi-Oh, this is going to be one of the most ridiculous things you've ever seen in a card game. Unfortunately, I have to speed up the footage because if I let it go, this player's turn took exactly three minutes and basically won the game from turn one and their opponent just had to sit and watch. And that is the most insane thing about Yu-Gi-Oh is that going first basically wins you the game based on your opening hand. And on top of that, this is the world championship for Yu-Gi-Oh. How insane is it that you work so hard to get to this point just to lose the game without actually playing the game? Man, from an outsider's perspective or someone just looking into this game, like Jesus Christ. Like what? I, I, I can pause it, but I don't think that's going to help. You use a patterns game, you learn the combo pattern, you understand the deck. It's just like how the game is. Let me pause this shit. Let me get paint out. Okay. And I know some of you are going to be like, I'm coping, but here's the thing. The learning curve in Hearthstone is like, Something like that. Yu-Gi-Oh, it's like... So I don't know how people get past this line. No offense, but HS is a joke compared to Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't care if you're the biggest Yu-Gi-Oh fan on the planet. I'm not saying Yu-Gi-Oh is a worse game than Hearthstone, but purely as trying to get into the game. And this is coming from someone who's played multiple card games. This game's fucking hard, dude. At least you can get blue eyes, white dragon on the side of your board, which is really cool. And with the help of my new dragon, I basically spent the majority of the second hour still learning the exact same deck until I felt confident enough to pick a brand new one which one is the easiest one to understand the game with okay what, which one should i buy burning spirits all right most of you are saying burning spirits oh my god this is easy if this link is summoned you can target one card in your okay all right well i'll trust you guys now how do i use that deck with a new deck i felt very overwhelmed on how i even began to get better at Yu-Gi-Oh. my chat was recommending that i get a coach but i wasn't a huge fan of that because i was trying to do this as someone who is brand new to the game trying to learn Yu-Gi-Oh for the very first time here's a novel idea just find someone to teach you dude that's i'm doing this for a video okay so imagine i'm here like hey I i'll listen now i got a teacher so the, the whole video is gone basically from what i'm understanding is in league of legends at least if you want to learn the game as fast as possible you pick one champion and you learn the game from that champion in Yu-Gi-Oh, it is easier to play the game through one deck and then learn the game from that deck when i came back the following day one of my viewers messaged me on discord with a meta deck of the cards that i just bought to hopefully let me play the game at a higher level and most importantly let me understand how to play Yu-Gi-Oh a little bit more if I'm going to be completely honest compared to a lot of other card games I felt like I didn't even scratch the surface on Yu-Gi-Oh there was so much to read so many things to understand and because the game just plays so much differently than every other card game I was feeling so overwhelmed also I learned that Yu-Gi-Oh doesn't really have a rotation they just ban cards so there's 20 plus years of cards available in this format the record by the way it took us 40 minutes to craft the deck i am now a master at this deck watch me roll these kids i know how to play this game now i studied a lot let me go first let me show you the power there's like no mulligan phase in this game right like magic has a mulligan phase runeterra has a mulligan phase but it's hearthstone there's there's no there's no mulligan phase in this game you just you just get your opening hand right like i talked about it yesterday or like the the first stream of this game is that the learning curve for this game is ridiculous like it's it's actually it blows my mind that people like say to themselves in the year 2023 i'm gonna try out Yu Gi Oh. <laughs> like this game is so wild like i like what the fuck is happening even though i was still very confused i am about to show you the greatest play i made so far shit hold on my extra deck is 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 uh, alive it's time we're in here we go finally i play the game i'm not really sure what side matters oh yeah we're in i played one card he's about to play 30 hold on i wish there was a feature that showed me how much time they have played and how much time i've played i think i maybe played this game maybe 20 seconds this guy's been playing the game for about eight minutes i think and there's no way that like as a newer player i understand what's happening like there's no way like i'm getting like, this guy's playing every Yu-Gi-Oh card in existence oh my god i can do something if you control a summon green other than something in the graveyard you can special summon this card and banish it when it leaves the field yeah sure yeah, that sounds good okay right and then and then target one cyber's monster in your graveyard special summon in defense position but it negates effects also you cannot special summon monster for the rest of your turn except cyber sponsors you can only use this effects once per turn i guess i can special summon another monster from my graveyard so that makes sense sure so like these guys sure yeah so you're gone you're gone and then we summon another monster unless he gets to play the game and i don't get to play the game 
Oh, I should have put it there, I think. I don't really know what the arrows mean, if I'm going to be honest. Active fact. Okay, sure. Get in there, champ. Yeah. Gain 500 light points. Banish this card from the field. And if you do, special summon one link through monster or lower. While this card is co-linked, and calling monsters gain found also your opponent can't target any of them with card effects you can target one link three monster this is a special summon it to your zone this card you cannot special summon monsters this turn unless it, does this count for two? Oh, it does i still don't understand what the fuck's up we're not we're gonna do this uh i want you and you're in and then we get to do that again. Your opponent cannot activate effect or return response to this. If this card is linked summon, you can target one link monster that we use material. All right, this card gains the attack and link reigning. You can banish one link monster from your field and destroy one card your opponent also controls. Also, for the rest of the turn, you can't banish monsters with the same effect. Okay. I'm cooking. <laughs> what is happening? Sheesh. Yes. Give me another one of these bitches. No, in this card. Um you i mean my guy has so much attack i don't think this matters like do i need to kill one of these let's do that one do it again bye idiot do it again it's my game i wanted to play get your country ass out of here is he having fun or am i having fun bye no i took too hard okay we learned a lot we learned a lot you know what it was a loss in the record books but i i think i learned have you tried the story modes they teach you decks no nope, i don't need to okay I, oh my god <laughs> what what the f i still don't like i dude i am playing cards and I don't know. This is so like, I, I just don't get what you learn from these games, man. Like, I guess what I'm understanding is that like, you could special summon all of your board in one turn and that's basically it. I wanna go first. I don't want my opponent to play the game. All right, we're going first. So that means I get to play the game, right? All right, this is good, this is good. Summon, yeah. Yeah. I want the gazelle. Okay. No. Like what? You're telling me people concede the game just literally based on the first two cards I play? Dude, you guys need help if you play this game. Holy shit. Should I try ranked? I'm a little scared for ranked. Rank is fine until silver. What happens after silver? Is the game just over? Before we even get to ranked Yu-Gi-Oh, I want to just discuss how I feel about the game so far being about three and a half hours in. In my opinion, the tutorial of this game just isn't very great. In the other card games I have played, the tutorial does a really good job of laying the foundation of how a game is actually played out without overwhelming the player right from the beginning. This allows the player to enjoy the game on top of learning new decks, play styles, and just brand new cards that they haven't seen before without feeling lost and not really knowing what to do. But the tutorial in Yu-Gi-Oh! showed me the foundations of a game that was probably played 15 years ago. This does not help a new player learn Yu-Gi-Oh! that well because when you go into play casual mode, you are completely lost. The tutorial in Yu-Gi-Oh! made it seem like there's a lot more back and forth and the game is a much more slower paced game compared to what it actually is which is usually the game is over by turn one which leads me to my very first ranked game what is this this is when the rank game starts and this is when the rank game ends ask yourself how much time do you think i'm actually playing the game your attention span not be the best fit for you yeah i disagree dude because games are fucking over on turn one in your main phase, you can take one Rick of Monster from your deck, except Rick of Petal, and either add it to your hand or send it to the graveyard. Also, you can't special summon for the rest of this turn, except plant monsters during your opponent's end phase. This card is in your graveyard. If you control no monsters at all, you control or you control plant monsters. Don't wear you. yourself out. Take a break with Hearthstone. You act like taking a break with Hearthstone's the way to go, bro. Okay, uh, how long is this gonna take? I'm gonna go get a drink while this guy's doing his turn. I'll come back and see what I missed. Give me, give me a sec, chat. He's still going? Cactus Bouncer. What are hand? I don't even know what hand traps are. You guys care if I just go to the washroom or something while this is happening? Like this is probably a good time, right? I got some time, right? How much time do you think I got for this turn chat? A couple minutes? You still doing shit. All right, perfect. All right, are we done? All right. Oh wait, hold on. It's our turn. I forgot. When a card is activated, you can detach one material at the same time, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy that card. Salaman Link Monster. Wait, hold on. I don't really. Do I have a way to negate this? Activate! 
So let me get something straight. Because this guy went first, he was basically able to set up his board to counter what I was doing. And I just had to idly sit by while he did that. Dude, who plays this game? Like you want to race or uh, meter sprint, but then your opponent says, yeah, but I get to start 50 meters ahead. All right, I think I lose. I don't know. Oh, wait, hold on. I should have done that. Like, can I even do anything? I guess not, right? I just end my turn. I guess I could do this and see what I draw. You messed up. I think I messed up by playing this game to begin with. Like, I probably could have played last turn better. Wouldn't it be better to learn to play with another YouTuber? Dude, every time some of you, one of you recommends me, hey, Raren, maybe you should play with another YouTuber. That would help you. You hear how delusional that sounds? Hey, dude, in order for you to play this game, you need to get a coach. That's with every card game, so you have to catch up where everyone's at. I, dude, you are coping out of your mind if you think this, the learning curve in this game is not insane compared to other card games. Out of curiosity, how long did it take you to feel comfortable with Runeterra? Probably like in two games. Because Runeterra, thankfully, is super easy to get into because the cards don't fucking read like this. This one card is like three Runeterra cards. And this card also combos with this card and this card and this card and this card. Magic for me was easier to understand because at least there's the basis of the mana system and that you can understand why how other cards work because there's not an apeshit amount of cards being played in one turn. Like not having a resource system in this game is the weirdest conundrum for like any player who hasn't played it because every other game every other card game has a mana system or some kind of resource system hey raren how was your how was your gameplay of Yu-Gi-Oh today oh i don't know i watched my opponent play for 10 minutes and i was sitting there waiting <laughs> it's, it's so ridiculous dude i don't know how i'm gonna play this for six more hours if i'm gonna be honest Like what? I think that game went on for what? 13 minutes? I think I played the game for 20 seconds. Maybe somewhere around there. I'm going to be honest. I don't think I want to play this game for 10 hours. The reality of the situation is, is after playing a game for four hours and 10 minutes, I'm not really having any fun unless I'm missing something that I don't think I am. Like I, I played a good, I apparently you guys gave me a deck that was probably good. I tried the tutorial. I tried casual mode. I tried ranked. It's just, it's th this game is not for me. I am missing something that has made is going to make the game more approachable. I think people pulling you in 70, 70 different directions. No, dude. See, the thing is, is like, it's not because chat's telling me that I'm doing something wrong or whatever. I just think the game is too fucking hard to just wrap my head around and actually enjoy the game. I play Hearthstone because I think it's the most fun card game, right? I don't think Hearthstone's the, the best card game in the world, but I personally enjoy it the most, right? When I played Hearthstone 10 years ago, when I played the game for 20 minutes, I was like, I'm gonna like this game quite a bit. Yu-Gi-Oh! does not give me the same vibe. Play the game for four hours and 15 minutes at this point. And I'm, again, like I said, I played it previously last year. I gave it a try. I just don't have that sense of enjoyment, right? There's too much going on. It's not fun to play. It's gonna take me another six years to figure out what every deck does also apparently going first is just fucking broken if going first is so strong that means half the game half the time you're not even playing the game in hearthstone if i'm playing a game even if my opponent has a slight advantage going first at least i get to play the game at least i get to do something that my deck does i'm gonna be honest i don't know how anybody plays this if i need to get a fucking coach to understand Yu-Gi-Oh just to enjoy the game not even to be good at it i don't think this game's worth playing 10 hours for so if you guys play Yu-Gi-Oh and you like the game awesome i'm so happy for you keep on playing Yu-Gi-Oh. honestly the only part i really enjoyed was getting my blue eyes white dragon because at least he looks cool <laughs>